Nah, fuck you, nigga. Freeze. Open three. You're blowing it, man. Yeah, they're coming. You're found guilty of assaulting here. You're gonna do time no matter what. I said he had it coming. Spare me the tough convict talk. It fails me, my friend. Frank, man, you don't know me. You don't know what I'm about, where I've been. And for your information, it's hard in this motherfucker, Mr. Pierce. It's not supposed to be easy. It's prison. And you just made it that much tougher on yourself. I'm here because I believe you didn't shoot that girl. You got a raw deal. I'm trying to give a man who deserves it a chance. I suppose to think. So I'm locked down to here and my family's out there. You're supposed to have faith. <laughs> See, I'm trying. I think I might have to sell those clothes, man. I just, I lose a little bit more. Okay, look. Tomorrow you go before the disciplinary committee. I'll, I'll try to think of something. You just hold on. Everybody here? Good. First up, the board would like Sir. to see. Excuse me. My name is Malachi Young. And if it pleases the board, I would like to go first. Hold on. Okay, Mr. Young, the board will see you first. Come this way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have a seat, Mr. Young. The report indicates that you're responsible for one inmate in the infirmary with a broken nose, another with a fractured cheek, and another with a severe injury to the back and the head. Now, we've already heard from the officers who were on duty at the time of the assault. Mr. Young, being the senior inmate in this incident, what do you have to say? Um, I would say that I'm guilty. Mm -mm. And I would say that I'm totally responsible for everything that went on in here. Are you aware of what you're saying, Mr. Young? I'm totally aware of what I'm saying. You know what the problem is? You motherfuckers don't know us. You motherfuckers don't know me. I've been locked down in here for 18 years. Them young niggas don't know how to run shit. This is my house. I run this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I run this motherfucker! <laughs> Tell Dell, yo. Heard your boy walked at the board, huh? Right, right. Mm. There's only one problem, though. Your feet is still in the game. Don't worry about it. I know my man Avery back in the circulation. I'm just gonna hit him with the Dell. It's gonna be all good. I think I got an idea, boy. How to take old graffiti out the game forever. But I'm gonna need your help, you heard? What's up? Put me on. 
shoot the ball, then, nigga, I'm gonna tell you about it. Maximum security, huh? Yeah. After my little performance, you know, they didn't have much choice. Hey, look, I done Max before. I can do it again. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't ready to get out anyway. <laughs> Yo, let's get a move on. Hey, one, one second. Look, uh, maybe when I get out, we'll hook up. You can teach me how to swim. <laughs> I'll do that. No matter. Yeah. Thank you for everything. I mean it. Yeah. I want you to have this, man. I can't. That's uh, the only copy. Hey, look, I want you to take it. Maybe you find some strength in it. I always have. Come on, young. Let's go. Yeah. You a bad little nigga, Dre. Jumping <laughs> over graffiti like that. <laughs> Your ass crazy for sure. What was I supposed to do? Wait for you, man. Yo, I wanted to do something, you know what I'm saying? But shit. I ain't want no trouble like you don't want no trouble. That's why I'm up in here now. Nigga, you think that little scrimmage you had the other day with graffiti is over? Well, you better get your motherfucking mind right, because what that nigga want is this little black bitch back. Word is he gonna cut your ass every which way but loose first chance he get. That's for sure. Look, man, fuck graffiti, all right, man? I already fucked him up. He know not to fuck with me no more. What are you talking about, man? You ain't got to prove that to me, nigga. Yo, Dre, yo, we go back, man. Yo, I know we ain't been tight since we have been up in here, but you my man and all, you know, I ain't trying to see nothing happen to you up in here. What the fuck are you talking about, man? What he talking about is you need to get that nigga before he get you. That's for sure. Better get your mind right, though. I got some of that kill, boy. It's that real shit. I know you want some of that. Huh? Hey, thanks, man. All right. All right, yeah. Hey, man, you know I love you, buddy. Yeah. Nigga, we gonna ride or what? Nigga, I ain't got time for this shit. Mr. Pierce, what was so important? Hi. This is my daughter, Marissa. She's an attorney at a firm downtown. Nice to meet you. How you doing? So what's going on? I discussed Avery and your brother's case with a friend at the DA's office a few days ago. Today she slipped me this file. It's the arresting reporter Bernard Moss and Anthony Green, also known as Broadway and Little G. Yeah, I know Broadway. He shot that cop, right? That's right. Bernard and Anthony were arrested for attempting to rob the convenience store the same night Avery was arrested. They were high at the time, killed two employees and one police officer. So you're saying they could have tried to rob that burger stand first and then tried again later? They were driving a white Mustang. Hard top. Where are they now? Anthony Green was shot and killed during the robbery. And Broadway? Serving a life sentence at Lost Lunas. I think I want to go see Broadway. <laughs> 